and the handoff has been completed. Mission Specialist Chris Hatfield will be operating the remote manipulator arm during this flight. And the STS-74 astronauts now are leaving the suit-up room headed for the elevator. Again, nine, eight, seven, go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis with the Russian my first two flights were on shuttles. I flew Atlantis, roll, Atlantis. and then Endeavour. Endeavour copy. And then my third flight, I was uh, left seat, so sort of like the pilot of the Soyuz. And liftoff of Tom Marshburn, Roman Romanenko, and Chris Hatfield. The Soyuz is designed to take three people and a tiny bit of gear. You can see the four strap-on boosters separating one. Up to the space station. Orbits at an altitude of 249 statute miles. Dock. Docking confirmed. Stay there for half a year or longer, and then at the end of time, get back in and come back home again. Touchdown, 314 and 48 seconds. The shuttle is, is so much more capable. It is the most capable flying machine humans have ever built. Unbelievable. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans. The vehicle that could carry, gosh, 40 or 50,000 pounds up in a payload bay that's the size of a city bus, and three quarters of everybody who's ever flown in space flew on the shuttle. It was the first great lifter. Liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour. It's this, it's this incredibly powerful push in your back, like a dragster but like one that's, that's gone off the road. Inside, the vibration of, of uh, pushing through the air, it's, it's, uh, it's like a tuning fork kind of vibration. He's traveling 500 miles an hour. This enormous, powerful, jaws of a dog kind of ride, straight up. In 45 seconds, you're through the speed of sound, straight up and accelerating. In 70 seconds, you're through the altitude and speed of the Concorde, accelerating straight up. And after two minutes, you're about 160,000 feet and six times the speed of sound, but you're above almost all the air. And then your first stage falls off. It's good separation of the solid rocket. And then you use the remaining engines for the next six minutes, or six and a half, to accelerate out horizontal, basically. It's like a long, liquid drive, heavy, steady, pushing, like someone with their fist in your back, pushing you faster and faster and faster. A smoother ride, because you're above the air. And after just under nine minutes, like 8, 8.45 or so, you're exactly the right place, the right direction, and the right speed. The engine shut off, and you're in space, and you're weightless. Let me take you on a little trip, my supersonic ship. At your disposal if you feel so inclined. Well, all right. Travel faster than light, so do up your overcoat tight, and we'll go anywhere you want to decide. Nobody has to